Hey makers, in this episode, I am going to talk about how we can maintain the tab order for Power Apps form. Tab order is very important for user accessibility point of view. Let's say here I have this Power Apps form. I have placed my cursor onto this particular name column. When I press tab, it automatically goes to the email column. When I press tab, it again goes to phone number column. Then on tab, it goes to emergency contact number. So, how can we maintain this kind of tab order in Power Apps? Let's have a look. By default, in Power Apps, when you are using the form control, tab order is automatically maintained with the tab as zero. Let's say for an example, these are all my independent data card. And if I select any particular text box inside my data card and scroll down a little bit, you can see here at the bottom tab index is equal to zero. By default, every data card's tab index is set to zero. So how the default tab work is simply when you tap that it horizontally tab the field in this manner. Now let's say here I want to change the tab order. When I click on name, after that if I press tab, I should be redirected to the emergency contact number instead of email. So how can we maintain this kind of custom tab order inside the Power Apps form? Let's have a look. So first of all, this is my form control and I already unlocked all my data cards. Pick up each individual text box from here and start giving the number starting from 1. So over here, I'm just providing my tab index or simply you can click on the property and select the tab index as one. Okay. Now for this second one, emergency contact number, let's provide the tab index as two. Then for this third one, let's select the tab index as three. Then for email, let's provide tab index as four. So I'm just selecting tab index property from here or from the bottom, you can simply select it and give it over here. Then for street address, similar way, click on tab index and provide the number as five. Over here for phone number, let's provide the tab index as six. And for city state, let's provide the tab index as seven. And after that, on button control, let's select and provide the tab index as 8. Alright. And now, let's try to play that and check that. Simply click on here, pressing the tab and you can see that my cursor automatically redirected to this one. Then tab this one, tab this, tab this, tab this, tab this. And after that, when I press tab, it highlighted the next button. This video helps you and values your time. If so, hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel.